Hello everyone and welcome to second half of the video on Windows Subsystem for Linux. Today we are going to see how you can install all your development tools. I have also created a gist for it. I will be sharing this link as well as for this uh, MongoDB image file. So the first thing which we are going to install is called uh, ABD Fast. It's like a shell script wrapper, right? If you go to this uh, description of this ABD Fast, it's like a shell script wrapper. Uh, for your apt or apt get or attitude which will try to download the package in parallel right parallelly it will try to download multiple packages using multiple connection which was not possible in apt get also was not possible in aptitude okay so git is a version to control system which can be used during the production or development so i think you guys have already used uh, and know what exactly git does Okay, next one we are going to see is Node.js. It's developed using Chrome's V8 engine. It runs your uh, JavaScript program on the server side. Okay, so this is about Node.js. And next we are going to install uh, NVM. That is a Node version manager, right? Which you can see here. It's a Node version manager. With the help of this, you can install simultaneously uh, different version of uh, Node, and you can switch between to both right if you want to switch between uh, node uh, version 10 or, or node version 13 you can easily do this with the help of uh, nvm and next we are going to install yarn it is also like a npm where you can install uh, your all the packages i'll be providing links of all this website next one is nginx and so nginx is a uh, server which you can run on your uh, system like on your production system or development system so next we have is redis server and redis server is also a database okay so this is about uh, redis server and next we are going to install mongodb mongodb is a uh, database right so we have a few of the other database like mysql sql right or we can say sql okay so let's go ahead and see how we can install all these packages so first we are going to install apd fast I'm just going to copy the command I'll just paste it here I need to enter my password so hit enter in the initial stage like you can uh, also provide the number of connection right as I have already installed it before right so it's not asking me to set up a number of connection so the next thing which we are going to install is git Okay, I'm going to rerun this with apd fast as I'm running with apd fast you can see there is a difference the package is getting downloaded before it is being installed right I mean it's not asking you any permission this is actually because during installation of apd fast it does ask you to download packages before uh, confirmation so I have given yes that's the reason and uh, right now you can see git has been installed we will verify each and every package which we have installed in the end of the video right next we i'm going to install is node so same thing i'm going to do with copy and paste like i already said node is a uh, framework uh, which was built on chrome v8 engine it was used to run your javascript file on this server side okay it's going to take some time Okay, next we are going to install is NVM. NVM we can install using curl because I have not installed curl already. So I need to uh, install curl first. So I'll, I'll use the method from curl. I'll copy this. I'll paste it. Next I'm going to install is a yarn. Yarn is also a package manager. Hit enter. So after yarn, we are going to install uh, Nginx uh, server. See, uh, yarn is installed. See, th this, uh, I mean, ABD fast is really helpful. If I actually run all this command in APD or APD uh, get, it does tend to take some more time and it does get stuck in between. So, Nginx is getting installed. It's, it's It got installed. Now, we're going to install Redis server. Before Redis server, let us install uh, MongoDB because Redis is going to take some more time. So, while Redis is installing, uh, the last part which we need to install is uh, I think just Redis server, right? I mean, while well, MongoDB is installing. Okay, so MongoDB 
it is getting installed but so we need to make few changes for uh, mongodb we need to add the init.b file in uh, etc slash init so i'm going to show you how you can do this before that let me copy this and paste it here so that redis gets installed well redis is getting installed i'm going to open one more terminal i mean i'm going to open ubuntu again in a new terminal okay so let's go back to this website so i'm going to copy each and everything what is here just copy it i'll redirect to sudo so not sudo cd etc then uh, init.d and if i type ls you can see there is no uh, mongodb file here in init so let's make one touch i'm gonna need sudo touch and i'm gonna do is mongodb enter the password password sorry okay it has been created you can see now i'm going to do a sudo ch mode i'm going to do a 777 retread execute it's done for that mongodb ls okay now i'm going to do is sudo nano and uh, run mongodb let me paste whatever i have copied earlier yes okay I'm going to exit this because still Redis is getting downloaded. So let me open a new terminal. Okay, here let's verify whether MongoDB was installed or not properly. So before that, uh, anyways, MongoDB is already installed. Let's see whether the service is running, right? Sudo service MongoD start or status. okay uh, the status of mongodb it's failed so let's start it and see okay it's running right now i'm going to check the status again status it says fine so mongodb is running fine right now and uh, if you want to verify this just go mongo okay what how i can verify is let me open this robot 3d uh, this is one of the package which I'm installed. I'm going to create a new one. And this will be for YouTube. I'm going to test whether it is working. You can see uh, the server is getting connected from here. Save. I'm going to connect to that. Okay, it is connected and it is working fine. There is no issue. So, actually, whatever the init file we have copied, it is working like but it's smooth it, it has no issue so actually uh, before prior to mongodb 4.2 uh, in mongodb 4 or before uh, 3 after 3.2 before 4.2 right it had some issue but right now i think after 4.2 i'm able to run mongodb without any issue on the psl if you have any issue right if you get through any issue and if you're not able to start the server or if you uh, not able to start it with sudo service mongodb start right what you can do is you can do sudo mongodb if you can do this it will also run but it will ask you to give the path the part of the db to set the part of the db what you can do is let me show you there is no folder here i'm going to make a folder called uh, make directly db right and the next thing is sudo mongo minus minus db path space and i'm going to see is that will be my home slash username that is uh, this symbol for that carrot symbol i think it's a carrot symbol uh, it's not a carrot symbol tilde i think yeah okay this symbol and then db if i press enter okay still it is having issue equal to yeah okay first let me try to stop the server sudo service mongodb stop okay it has been stopped let's verify that whether it has been stopped status fail yeah it's definitely failed okay okay you can see it is up and running if you come through an issue right if it is not starting you can do uh, 
to do mongodb minus minus db path you can do like this okay if uh this one is working right if this command is working for you right if it says okay so no need of anything else you are good to go if this command is not working you can go back to this command fine so this will be for mongodb so let's verify whether all the package has been installed properly okay redis has been installed i'll clear the things okay let's verify whatever we installed it is working or not okay we have to exit and restart because nvm needs a restart okay so terminal has been opened again i'm going to paste the same thing again into the password okay you can see uh, the first thing i checked was apt version right apt is uh, version is 1.612 and git is also installed right this is also installed on this here and next is node node is on 10.016.3 and npm is on 68 uh, 690 and the next vi installed is uh, nvm which is on version uh, 0.34.0 and next is curl which is also installed and this is for my nginx right after curl i'm checking yarn sorry here is yarn 1.919.0 next is uh, after yarn it's nginx which is installed working redis server this is redis cli as well as the redis server it is working fine and next one is mongodb and mongo so mongodb and mongo both are working here right everything is installed everything is working fine and uh, the last thing which we need to check is sudo service nginx status it's gonna fail i mean it's not running same thing goes for uh, mongodb right okay mongodb it, it has no issue mongodb is uh, running at the system start so but nginx is not same thing what you can do is for nginx you can say start and now you can see the status nginx is running so this is how you can install the packages uh, almost all the packages right uh, needed for web development and the next thing is uh, if you want to update your system right i mean not the system update your uh, your linux okay and uh, in the last video i have uh, stressed and saying linux unix actually uh, it's linux okay so if you want to update make sure your wsl is up to date you can copy paste this command and you can paste it here what does it do is it will update all the first command will update all the packages right it will fetch everything the next it's going to install and minus y is it will ask not ask you any permission right to press yes or no something and uh, next one is uh, it's going to install all the build essentials like any essential packages which you need which your system need and next fourth one is it's going to upgrade whatever it did in the other three steps it's going to upgrade it right if you have any distributed upgrade it will also upgrade that and any left of packages it's going to remove it and it's going to clean it so that any small even 1 kb of space will be freed okay so and i do have a bonus video so i'm going to make one more video on this in that you can see how you can install java how you can install android sdk how you can install your gradle okay and uh, also if i want to install all the packages right using npm what i can do is i can do like this sudo npm install minus g that is for global and i'm going to copy a uh, few things which i normally use it right eslint ionic cordova typescript i'm using cordova 8.1.2 to give you some uh, drawback in my application and uh, pm2 bug bug cli right angular not mon okay like this if you you can install all your npm packages within one uh, command so in the next video which i'm going to make i'm going to show how to install java how to install android sdk how to install gradle right so that you can uh, start your uh, ionic development or uh, java development without any issues okay so okay if this video helped you give us a thumbs up if this video did not help you give us a thumbs down 
also do mention what he did not help you with right so that we can uh, see what's the issue and we can help you with that and the next thing is if this video really really helped you right you can share this video with your friends right on your facebook or whatsapp whatever social networking you are in right so that it can reach to the maximum number of people